find something similar and a brand like Miko as well. Yeah, well, Miko, fantastic brand, reliable. Miko do ears. That's all they do. They don't mm. do anything else. Uh, so what they've got here is the Miko heater and it's the motion eye. So what they've done, this is really quite unique. One of the first times I've ever seen this as well. Um, see, just on the front here, I'll go yeah. straight into this. That little thing there yeah. is a little sensor eye and that will actually sense when you come into the room and when you leave the room. So if you push the button up here that says motion sensor on, then that brings this into play. So basically, if somebody comes into the room, the heating comes on. Yes. If they leave the room, if your kids leave the room or, you know, what they're like sometimes up in the room, then it switches off. I... It is a perfectly good heater with all the settings anyway. And also in the summer, it's got a fan setting. So you can switch this to fan. I'll just angle oh, so that forward cool so as you well. can see. Yeah, so you can go to fan. So it acts as a fan. You can program it to go off and on and all manner of things here. You've got outputs are high and low and up here you can see the timer is on i've actually set it at two hours now by the way i normally need my glasses on to see some of the things that i demonstrate my reading glasses i'm very glad you've mentioned that because so do i now and you with this i can just see yeah. what i need to see what's funny as well is it looks as though the little buttons there that it's all slightly wavy that's because of the heat that is coming from the front yeah, of the, this that, yeah, the it's heat the waves coming. of heat that are coming from there yeah. you can actually see it it's like if you were looking down the road a demonstration. you know the middle of the day that was <laughs> even worse this Fantastic. But all the controls are on there. I'll just show you this as well. It is actually easy to pick up. It is very compact but very powerful. There's the little sort of cubby hole at the back for picking it up there. You can see that. There's another switch on the back, another safety switch there. There are sensors inside, so as if it topples over accidentally or whatever, it will switch off. That's but it's, it's it's 1.8 kilowatts, mm. but it's using a thing called PTC ceramics. Now, look, I won't go into that. It's just too <laughs> technical. But what it means is it's more efficient than your old electric bar fires. Remember those? I do remember those that had the silver back to them. Yeah, and they, had and the it little glows bits in the front. red. Glo yeah. And you could see the money burning yes, in front you could, of your you eyes. Could. So, you're, you know, my mum was always, turn that off, put one bar yeah. on. Why are you... Corned beef legs like this. <laughs> uh, red I've legs. I've the back of my trousers but, on yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know. So what this is, is different technology. It's more efficient with the pennies, quite frankly. Mm. It's more efficient with the heat and it's safer. And it's going to be, of course, far more efficient with the pennies if it's going to go off when you actually leave the room rather yeah. than leaving something running when you don't need it. Yeah. Or, as we were talking to Claire earlier, yeah. I mean, you know, teenage yeah. kids, you know, mine yeah. are all grown up now and left home. But basically, when you're in that situation where they, you know, smuggle the heater away to put it in their bedroom that's because right. you're not having the heating on before four in the afternoon they want to sit up there and do whatever they're doing and they leave it on they come downstairs you go back it's absolute fog in the bedroom you it's know a, waste it's... of energy and electricity M most of my life until the kids were about 16 was turn that off turn that down <laughs> turn the heating down we're not... above switches yeah, I turn mean, this off <laughs> electricity boards writing to me saying can we get some heat back yeah maybe a bit of a dip in the well, look, grid. This, is, this is automatic so you've got the two settings you've got the high and the low on there I'll just angle it forward again so you've got the high and the low just for the heating mm -hmm. but if we go right up to the end here i'll just show you see what it says motion detection if oh. i switch that on the light comes on there it is it's blinking it's telling me motion detections now on so what happens is any motion in the room any movement in the room up to about a meter from the heater is going to bring that heater on yep. for you there now the other thing is if you switch it on to motion detection and then you leave the room and you don't come back you've had to pop out to the shops yes, or whatever yeah. then that motion detection will isolate itself completely as well you've got up to seven hours you can program the timer for normal heating you've got a timer on it as well timers on there one two three four all the, the everything is intuitive it's on the top and again this is actually just switched off because n there's nothing moving in front of it. The cameras aren't moving, the guys behind the cameras aren't moving. So if I just do that, you heard I the heard beep, peep, and now the heat's coming And out. now the heat's back on. This is part from the as well. There's zero PNP on this. It has inbuilt intelligence, which yes. I think is marvellous. I don't know about you, but I got to about my late, I think, late 50s. My memory is nowhere near what it used right. to be. Right. And it's things like this. If you're busy and you're distracted, yeah. you know, you're yeah. in a room, you're nice and cosy, you've, oh, God, I've got to go, I've forgotten something. Herring out the door, you don't remember to switch off whatever it is. I mean, 
economy. I know most things nowadays, there isn't going to be a well. hazard of fire, necessarily. But there is a waste of electricity. Uh, you know, it's costing you an enormous amount. That's of right. What if you also, you leave it on, you're going away or you're staying that's overnight right. somewhere that's coming back? Uh, yeah, the house might be like a furnace when you get in, but think of all the wasted heat. Yeah, that's like the kids used to do. <laughs> now, now, look, I, all the controls are there. You can have it as just fine. It circulates just normal air in the summer. You've got the motion detection on there. One thing Nico's asked me to say to the folks at home is... There is a two-year manufacturer's warranty with this. Two this years. is new technology yep. with Miko as well. There's a two-year manufacturer's warranty there. Of course, we've got the QVC guarantees, as you as you know. But it's a cracking little gift, cracking size. It, you know, if, if if Granny or Granddad, if they need just localised heat and you mm -hmm. want it near them, if they doze off to sleep and they're not moving, they're that's not a very good idea. The paper, then yeah. the heat in itself there will go off if you yeah. put it on the motion sense or if you've got it on low. But it's efficient heat. It's it's clever heat. The handle's built into the back. It's not too yes, heavy. Yes, so it's mobile. You can take it around yes, where you like. Brilliant. There are no it's fans pinging around. So if it's small children, you have to worry about that either. Yep. It's very compact. Yep. So if you have got maybe kids away, they're living in halls. You know, mind you, I always found halls were very warm. Actually, my daughter was there. But then when they move maybe to other places where nobody bothers to pay to heat them yep. at all, you want your own individual heater. This is fantastic. White, black, or the red. Yep. Thank you very, very much indeed. Pleasure Kelly. as, as always, always. You're looking ingenious. fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Made my day. <laughs> now. Claire is going to be uh, bringing to you, of course, not just our today's special value, but other things besides from Emian. I'll be back with you at 10 with Tova Borgnine and this beautiful collection of jewellery. Meanwhile, we are going to get toasty toasty.